To remove the front seats, start by moving your seat as far forward as it will go. Then remove the two E12 torque mounting fasteners at the seat rails as indicated by the red arrows. Next, you will have to remove the seat belt from the front seat. Lever off the trim panel on the front seat to expose the seat belt fastener red arrow. Use a T45 torque and remove the lower mounting point of the belt from the seat, as indicated by the red arrow. The end of the belt has a nub or locator that needs to sit correctly into the mount in the seat, red arrow. Make sure to locate this correctly when reinstalling. Once the seat belt, fasteners, and trim are removed from your seat, move the seat all the way rearward to expose the seat module electrical connector and the front mounting bolts. Remove the two E12 torque bolts from the front rails as indicated by the red arrows. Tilt the seat back and remove the three electrical connectors from the seat module, red arrows. You can now carefully remove the seat from the car. Installation is the reverse of removal. To remove the rear seats, begin by removing the rear seat cushion. There are two friction clips, red arrow, one on each side of the bench. Simply grab the bench at the front by the clips and pull straight up. With the bench lifted, you can see the metal hoop attached to the bench that sits in a friction clip in the chassis, red arrow. There is a metal hook on the bottom of the bench that you cannot see, but it's approximately where the red arrow is on each side. Slide the bench back and lift up, and then pull forward and remove the bench. On the rear seat back section, use a T25 torque and remove the torque screw that holds the side of the seat back, red arrow, one on each side, and then remove the two 16 millimeter nuts, yellow arrow, only one shown. Open the trunk and climb in. You're going to use a flathead screwdriver to release the two latches. Insert the screwdriver into the two holes under the rear chassis cross member, red arrows, then slide the screwdrivers to the left as indicated by the yellow arrows. This will release the upper latches that hold the seat back in place. You can now remove the seat back from the vehicle. This photo illustrates one of the two latches that hold the upper section of the seat back to the seats, as indicated by the red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.